During the last 10 years that I've been Director General of the Center, I have uh, many um, highlights of, of things that have been accomplished that I'm very, very proud of. I could say that um, probably um, the first major highlight that um, came to pass um, as I uh, started leading the center in the early years was the development of a dynamic regional program in South Asia. Uh, ICRAF did not have a South Asia program uh, when I became Director General, and of course here is an area with a billion and a half people with uh, tremendous um, uh, current practice of agroforestry as well as strong uh, agricultural and forestry research institutes. And I really believed that collaborating with and working closely with the research centers and the policy makers in countries like India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka uh, would be not only good for the countries and build a more international perspective into some of the things that they're doing in agroforestry, but would have enormous implications for the rest of the tropical world. And I think that um, clearly um, the um, excellent leadership of Dr. Paul Singh, who has developed that program into a vast scientific network across the subcontinent, and the accomplishments that they've made have indeed fulfilled my expectations there. So that's one highlight that I'm really, really proud of. Um, I could talk about many other highlights, but certainly uh, in the more recent past, uh, the ability of the center to understand the implications of decades of science in the um, development of methods for helping the poorest rural families on the smallest farms in Africa and other parts of the tropics to become more food secure, to produce enough food to last for the year and perhaps have a surplus for the market. And that um, culminated in the development of what we now call evergreen agriculture, a form of agriculture in which trees are incorporated directly into crop fields that are compatible with the crops <clears throat> and provide for the crops uh, increased um, uh, benefits of fertilization, uh, soil conservation, water infiltration, uh, to raise the yields of crops in ways that are of no cost to the farm family. And I'm very proud that the World Agroforestry Center has pioneered these technologies, which are <clears throat> low risk, very low risk, and very low cash, if at all any cash is expended at all. And so therefore, um, our ability to now take these concepts and work with more and more governments around Africa and the rest of the world um, is a very, very um, gratifying um, uh, experience. And I see that now we have the opportunity. We're working with 21 countries in Africa and South Asia to develop their own border-to-border -border national agroforestry food security programs based on evergreen agriculture. And I see many years of very productive work in supporting those programs with the best science and the best technology that we possibly can muster but getting on with the job of reaching tens of millions of farm families with what we know so that they can begin to have a better life.